Pressure pan readings are taken anytime we have ductwork running through unconditioned spaces like attics, knee wall areas, possibly crawl spaces. It tells us how leaky that ductwork is into those spaces and if we need to call for duct sealing. Uh, we do this, we'll do this with the DG1000, the DG700, and the DG8 single channel manometer. So pressure pan readings are taken while the house is depressurized at negative 50. So, you know, this is usually done after you've got your blower door number. You can just ramp it up by hand for this. You don't want to use, can't really use cruise control. And when you get your house set at negative 50, then we're gonna pull these hoses. And then we have to clear out the baseline that we took at the beginning of the blower door test so that it equalizes out everything for how the house is currently set up. So with your manometer at zero, we're gonna hook the hose up to the input port on the A channel and the port on the pressure pan. And then we're gonna place it over the register. This one's coming through the ceiling, pushed up tight against there so it gets a good seal. And then we can see what our reading says. This one's at 13, so we definitely need duct sealing on that one. Uh, DG700, pretty much the same setup. You get your house to 50, pull your hoses, clear your uh, baseline reading, and then it, it'll be at zero. You can also just turn the DG700 on, off, and then on again, and it'll turn on, it'll be recalibrated for that setting. Uh, hook it to your input on your A channel, back to the hood, put it against the ceiling, it should read pretty much what the 1000 read, pretty close. You can also do this if you've got an old 700 beating around or any extra manometer, just leave your blower door going and just turn your manometer on inside the space with the fan running. It'll turn on already calibrated, ready to go, and you can run around and do your pressure pan readings. This is kind of a lot nicer than tearing it you know, off of your blower door and carrying that 1000 around. It's just pretty good use for the old 700s. Uh, if you've got the new DG8, hook it up to your input channel, hook it to the port on the hood and just turn it on and it'll come on at a true zero, ready to go. And then you can just run around and do your pressure pans again. I really like using a spare manometer to do this, especially this little DG8. It's super easy to just carry around. If you wear a pouch, you can toss it in there. Uh, it's really good if you want to figure out, you know, room to room pressure differences, different things like that. It's a super handy, small, compact gauge to add to your arsenal.